In this video, we shall explore how to use the Student Edition of Multisim to perform single frequency AC simulations. We will begin by selecting two resistors and a capacitor from the Place Basic Toolbar button. Remember, if you hover the mouse over a toolbar button for a moment, a tooltip will pop up to remind you of its name. The second resistor and capacitor need to be rotated 90 degrees. Select the components with the mouse and use the Control R command. We'll position the components in a series loop. Now we'll alter the default component values by double clicking on each item. The first resistor is set to 820 ohms while the second is set to 360 ohms. The capacitor is set to 50 nanofarads. We also need a ground. From the list, select Power Sources Ground. Finally, we need an AC signal source. From the list, select Signal Voltage Sources, AC Voltage. Drop this onto the schematic and double click to set its values. This is a sine wave source. Set the frequency to 1 kHz. Set the amplitude to 1 volt peak. Now we wire the components together. Time for measurements. We shall explore two methods. First, we have the interactive mode. This method does not calculate phase shifts. Make sure the interactive is selected on the toolbar's Active Analysis button. If it's not, Click on the button and select Interactive Simulation from the list. Now click on the green Run button to engage the simulation. Click on the Voltage Probe button and place the probe at the top of the capacitor. Our readout shows the peak-to-peak -peak and RMS voltages along with the frequency. Ignore the fluctuating values that are being calculated in real time. If the probe is moved to another location, the values are updated accordingly. You can also use an ammeter probe to measure the current. For a differential voltage, use the differential probe. This requires two connections. The result is the value measured from the first probe to the second probe. Turn off interactive mode by clicking on the red Stop button. A similar technique uses the virtual multimeter, which is located at the top of the instrument's toolbar. Place this on the schematic and wire it across the first resistor and capacitor. Double click on the meter icon and set it to AC volts. Now select the green Run button. In a moment, the meter will display the RMS voltage. Now let's look at the second method. First, turn off interactive mode and delete the virtual meter.
we will need a way to identify the various nodes in the circuit. Multisim numbers them for us. To see the node numbers, select Sheet Properties from the Options menu. Under Net Names, select Show All. Notice that the schematic is now numbered. From the Simulate menu, select Analyses and Simulation. A settings window opens. Select Single Frequency AC. The settings window can also be called by clicking on the Active Analysis button. On the Frequency Parameters tab, set the frequency to 1 kHz. You can also specify the output format either magnitude with phase or real with imaginary. On the Output tab, select the items you wish to see. The numbers correspond to the node numbers on the schematic. For a differential voltage, we can use the Add Expression function. Copy the required variables and math operations to the equation area, and then select OK. Select the Run button at the bottom. In a moment, an output window pops up with the requested values listed. This display can be customized in a variety of ways and also saved if desired. And that concludes our tour of using Multisim for single frequency AC analysis. Thanks for watching.